everyone, welcome to another video in the KJX June series. So this entire month I have not sat down to do a caulking confessions. You guys love these videos. I love filming these videos. And today we have some Starbucks. I went and got a venti iced chai with coconut milk. So that is what we will be sipping on today while we spill some confessions. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you guys want to be a part of the future Coffee and Confessions videos, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. That is where you guys send in the questions. I will post about it on my Instagram stories. And then if you guys send in a question, you can be featured in the video. You guys sent in pretty good questions. Today will be an interesting one. So let's hop into them. Any advice on being single or feeling lonely? You need to find a way to feel happy by yourself and be independent by yourself. And then I feel like once you figure out your own happiness, you really won't feel so like lonely or sad while you're being single because honestly, like when you're single, it can be some of the best times in your life. So take advantage of it, enjoy it, learn how to be happy on your own and have a damn good time. How did you start driving traffic to your channel? Basically by just putting out videos that ended up doing really well that is probably the majority of the way that people find my channel when you look at your analytics on um your youtube channel mine is mostly just like browse features or like suggest suggested videos which is pretty freaking cool what are your future goals for the rest of 2019 well my main goal for youtube before the end of this year was to hit 100,000 subscribers halfway through the year we're not at 50k yet i honestly thought i'd be a little further in my channel but you honestly don't really entirely have control over that as like the person running the channel <laughs> i mean you can put stuff out there and hope for the best and that's kind of how it works whether like the instagram algorithm them picks up your videos and shows it or it doesn't that's the only crappy part about it um but yes goal for the end of this year for youtube is hopefully to hit 100k um goal for the end of the year for my business shop june co if you guys didn't know i launched a business shop june co it's an online um boutique featuring women's fashions like basically like statement style pieces not statement but like basic staple pieces in your wardrobe um i'll have that link down below if you guys want to check it out and shop um, but basically to grow that and get that like really up and moving. Those are like my two huge goals for the rest of 2019. Those are like my two main focuses at the moment. Uh, is it better to purchase a website or use Shopify if you want to start a business? 100% recommend Shopify. It's the best, easiest platform I've ever used. Who was your first crush and why him? Honestly, when I was reading these earlier, the first person that came to mind was a kid named Colin. I was in kindergarten when I had my first crush. His name was Colin. He was like a blonde haired, blue eyed boy, super tan. And I don't even know why he was my first crush. Like I thought he was cute, which is very ironic now because I usually don't go for <laughs> like blonde haired, blue eyed people. That's like so not my type, I guess you could say. My type is like totally the opposite now. What is your advice on someone who feels bad about not having a boyfriend when you're 20 turning 21? Honestly, everyone experiences different things at different times in their life. Don't feel bad about it because there is a lot of people out there who are your same age that have never dated anyone and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. No one is saying you have to be dating someone. Don't ever feel bad about it. Just know that your time will come. When it's supposed to happen, it will happen. So don't stress about it. Live your life, do the things that make you happy and you will find someone along the way. Do you have a type? Well, yes, we have just established that. I usually go, it's such a cliche to say like tall, dark, and handsome, but like, what happens? <laughs> Uh, how do you get rid of someone who keeps playing mind games with you? Cut them out of your life because nobody needs that in their life. Uh, can you please do a what's on my MacBook or digital minimalism? I don't think my MacBook is that digitally organized at the moment, um, but maybe in the future when I do have time to sit down and like digitally organize it, I can do something like that. But at its current state, it's a hot mess. <laughs> I'm not even a fan of it. Have you ever broken up a relationship? I felt like this could go two ways when I read it. My first thought was like, okay, like have I broken up with someone? Because yes, <laughs> um, but then I was like, I read it again and I was like, okay, do you mean like being a homewrecker? Because um, no, I've never done that. Uh, I have very strong opinions about cheating and friends who 
tell me that they've cheated and stuff like that. I'm just not okay with it and I have a hard time listening to anyone talk about it if they do it. And I just, that's something that I'm not a fan of. I do not believe in. I do not think it should happen, but it does. People are, people are crazy. <laughs> Any tips on self-love? I have an entire video all about that. I will link that down below. How are you doing post breakup? So the first person that has actually asked me that and honestly, I'm doing pretty freaking good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, if you could only choose one makeup product to use for a year, what would you choose? The one thing that I always cannot go without is my dip brow from Anastasia. If I could only use one product, that would be it. <laughs> what is your favorite workout? Um, I love leg and booty day. That one is my favorite. I've been thinking about filming and talking about like my workout split. So if you guys are interested in hearing about that, let me know and I can film that for you. Have you ever had two boyfriends at once? No. <laughs> I do not do things like that. If I have a boyfriend and just one single boyfriend, but no, I would never like fully commit to two separate people at once. That's, that's like bachelorette style. And I just, that is not how I go about my dating. How do you clear your mind? Uh, well, for the most part, when I am like super stressed and trying to just like chill and clear my mind, I feel like usually it happens to me mostly at night and my head is running or like my mind is running like a million miles a minute. Uh, so two top things that I love doing when I just feel that way, uh, melatonin and some sort of like stress um, supplement, something like that. I love the Ollie stress vitamins. And then I also just recently got the chill factor little like packets from Care Of. Um, I used one of those last night and it was pretty great. How to find great girlfriends. Making friends as an adult has become really hard. I will 100% say that this is true. Oddly enough, I feel like I found some of my best friends like through other people. Um, I've had quite a few friendships in the past few years that have just like faded out. We've outgrown each other and some of these, I have been friends with these people for like five, 10 years. And eventually sometimes you just grow out of friendships and you realize that they're just not good for you. Or maybe that person isn't growing or evolving and you have just kind of like evolved and grown past that point of that friendship, which is totally okay. Um, but yeah, some of my absolute best friends, some of them I've met through school, some of them I have met through jobs, um, I've met some through literally through other friends, like friends of friends. Um, I feel like there's, it's definitely harder to make friends as an adult, but I find that you make the best of friends like when you're not kind of looking for a friendship. It's almost like when you're like not looking for a relationship, you find the best thing. So like friendships, I feel like sometimes they just come out of the blue and they just happen to be like the best friends that you've ever had. All right, so those are gonna be all of the questions that I will answer in today's Coffee and Confessions. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stick around. Um, I'm not sure when I'm posting this video, but I know it is one of the last few of the KJX June series. So there will definitely be more videos coming in July. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and stick around. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in my next video.